hold that port into his muslin bag. I'll hold those for you. You guys are going to take all three of those and put it in there. Without spilling it. All or spill, right. very, <laughs> spill very little. The other thing you can do is you can use that to, uh, at home, you use it to cure hams. Those are, those are also ham socks. Um, you can cook in those, uh, but they're, you can find them anywhere. They keep them in store here. You can use them to put your hops in to keep hop residue from getting in your beer and keep your beer a little bit cleaner and freer of particles. Um, so they are inexpensive. Um, you can reuse them if you can get them out without busting them. They are pretty thin and I'm pretty lazy when it comes to cleaning things. So um, if you want a reusable one, I would purchase a um, nylon bag. They've got a- Sparge bags, we got those up there too. Yeah, they've got some nylon sparge bags up here and hot bags that you could purchase that are much sturdier <laughs> and easier to clean. Now just tie a knot way at the top so this is what you're going to do. You're going to pour those three specialty grains in. And you're going to basically tie a little knot and then put it in the water. The water is clear, right? What's up? The water is clear, right? Clear? Yeah. 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 OK, just check it. Andrew said it's clear. Go ahead and throw it in. The reason that we want to double check is you never, like if you walk away, anybody got any kids? <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to steep. So in your booklets, Thank you, Andrew, you can have a seat again. In your booklets, uh, what we have done, or what Andrew and, and Kevin have done, is they have gone through in your steps. If you open up to um, the first.